Well, the rumors are starting to fly already with the free agents, and uh, obviously one of the biggest rumors uh, starts right down south of us in New York uh, with an offer that's uh, on the table or could be on the table to CC Sabathia for big, big money, which really comes as no surprise. Uh, you know, my, my feeling over the last couple of years is I felt that the Yankees kind of fell short with their starting pitching in particular, and I was a little bit stunned the last couple of years they hadn't done much to upgrade. So I would certainly expect uh, they're going to be in the market uh, to upgrade quite a bit in the starting rotation, which, call me crazy, but, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of find that very interesting, and I kind of like it because uh, I, I missed somewhat this year the Yankee-Red Sox rivalry. It wasn't there. They were not really in it. Um, and um, I know Tampa Bay, and that's to take nothing away from them, but it just doesn't feel the same. I, I love I love when the Red Sox and Yankees are going back and forth uh, on, you know, signing free agents and who's going to get the upper hand. And it's all, to me, makes a lot more fun for the, for the regular season. So uh, there'll be some crazy numbers being thrown around. There's no doubt about that uh, by a lot of teams. We'll be watching a lot of different players. Manny, obviously, uh, where he might end up, uh, how the Yankees are going to improve their pitching staff, what the Red Sox are going to do. And I think probably the first order of business for the Red Sox uh, is going to be to determine uh, the Jason Veritek situation. And, you know, I'm certain that they'd love to have him back. But, again, as we've talked about before, it's going to have to be for the right amount of years and the right price. And uh, how close they can come on that, uh, I think, is, is, you know, will be determined pretty quickly because I think the Red Sox need to know if they're going to have to move into another direction. Uh, my gut feeling tells me that he's probably going to stay and um, hopefully buy it a few more years um, before they can, you know, do something else. Again, there's not much out there in the catching market. So the other interesting thing for me is Derek Lowe. You know, that's been kind of thrown around a little bit. And if the price is right, I'm all for it. Because uh, when you think of Lowe, you know, we remember the days back in Boston uh, where, um, you know, he was a pretty good postseason pitcher for him. And the one thing about him, I got a chance to watch him uh, throw a little bit in the playoffs this year. He's still throwing the ball very good. And physically, he's fine. He hasn't had any major arm problems. Uh, he, I think he looked pretty nice at the back end of that rotation, a veteran presence uh, at the back end, just in case guys like Buckles, uh, you know, weren't uh, ready to go at the beginning of the year. You'd have a veteran guy there who, uh, who's accustomed to playing in Boston. So that's, uh, that's kind of an interesting one for me. And it, it may not be that, that expensive for the Red Sox. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, everybody's expensive, and until the market gets rolling, um, you know, that's when things start to settle down a little bit. So uh, let the fun begin, and some of the fellows will have nice little paychecks that they'll be able to cash right before the holidays to buy some nice gifts. Wouldn't we all love to be in that situation?